So this is me in my conservatory. I come in on the morning, I whack my radio on, I get a cup of tea. I cut material. And I fill my spool and look at all this. I've got bags of stuff and all sorts of stuff everywhere. I sort my spool out, I change my colour to whatever colour I'm using. They're the bows that I sewed yesterday. You've always got to wash your hands when you use white. Look at my nails, fuck my life. I'm gonna do them later on a review. But yeah, let's not look at them again. But yeah, thread my needle. When we get cracking, I have to go backwards. A couple of stitches. I kind of need two hands. It's hard to kind of film and, and do this, but... And then we just, we just get so in pictures. And this is me for the rest of bloody day. See you soon. This is my cutting station. This is where I cut on top of my dryer. It's probably not the most ideal place, but I start with a massive towel, a huge one, and it all has to get cut in strips, but I did all these wrong, so now I've got to make them all a bit smaller. Fuck my life. I use this cutter that I can't... Once I'd started using it, I couldn't figure out how to put it back together, so that didn't work properly either, so it probably takes me the double length of time. Instead of just buying another one for about 5 99 I've persevered with this one, because I'm a twat like that. So I just have to measure and then cut, and yeah, it takes ages, it's a ball ache. Oh, cut you bugger. This is what I've got to do. And you always get that bit that sticks. I don't want to cut. When I start, this is a massive bath sheet like. Ah! I'm bleeding! Oh! Oh, the drama! You see, this is a regular occurrence and all. I need to go find a plaster now because I can't get blood on your bloody white towels. Look at it! It hurt that as well. Oh, bollocks. I'm ready to roll now and I mean, hang on, let's turn that bollocks off, I'm ready to roll now and look, I really do put my blood, sweat and tears into these, literally, oh, let's crack on, my mum does the hard bit, I do the easy bit, the bows are the easy bit, she does the bands, I'm very hard. I do a little dance, you know, I dance about, act like a pillock all the way through it. But then you're left with a square like this, so then I have to turn it inside out. It's very technical, so it has to be all nice and neat. And then we, we give it a little shake and push into the corners, break all your nails off because your nails are shite. So you might find a nail inside, no you won't. <laughs> <laughs> you won't, you won't bitches, honestly, I'm not charging you 20 quid for a nail. But yeah, we turn this, but this takes time, I want you all to know what I go through to get your bows to you. And everyone's different, because obviously they're handmade, so they all come out slightly different, slightly different sizes and things, because I cut them all and I'm not like the brightest button in box, am I? But that's the beauty of it, that they're all made with love by my two horrific hands but yes yeah, so then you're left with a little hole like this and this is a little bastard now that's quite thick you have to sew from there to there to fill your little hole be back in a minute so my mum does the hard bit she does the bands now these all come up slightly different as well because they're handmade and they are slightly different greys as well because we've used different materials as we've gone along because we've got to use what we get hold of but bless her she works so hard she gets them so neat um, I have to go over them all then with my shit eyes and look through them all. I have to check all bastard bits off that get everywhere. So you've got grey bits, pink bits and white bits all over my house. Look, little pink, you've got to get all them off because you can't send them out with any bits on. It's very, 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 very stressful. So what happens next is I get these. 
these come like this I get these embroidered for me I have to cut all the little pieces first so that's a bitch as well and then what you do is you fold it over inside out like this and I have to sew down there and then I turn it inside out and then I have to sew it round the band to get it all right and perfect which is a ball ache. What took you forever just to see I'm right? Just showing you that I actually do this shit, you know, I don't just make it up. I used to sing it. I remember singing instead. Ella Bunton. Where the fuck did she go to? But from the start, you didn't know what to say. No what to say. Cut all bits off. Just give it a shake. Oh, I believe. Something like that anyway. Some baby, I got something to say. Funny little bastard. What took you so long? What took you all night? What took you forever to see I'm right? I treat you so good, I make you feel fine. Never give it up this time. What took you so long? You all night. I'm glad I do all this bit and my mum does all the bit because I won't cook. It'll probably take me three years to get ten out to you. And you left with a lovely little white pillow. Oh, did nice. So, yeah, and that's the book. Goes in the basket. On to the next. On to bow number three. So, it's been lovely catching up with you. Like I say, I'll show you at rest what I do. See what you think of my um, bow vlog. I will be right here for you. Oh, how my heart breaks. This is what I do on a regular occurrence all the way through my day. So I get about two, two done all day. Love a bit of radio, a bit of radio too. The chance. Oh, I missed it. Don't know why I thought this would be fun to show you. <laughs> I just did. We're off again. You got me going crazy. Whatever. This is my Conrad. Whatever you do, I will be right here waiting for you. So we get one of these, which is um, embroidered just for me. You do it inside out, sew down the side. Making sure it's kept together, bitches! We can stick together! Cut it. Turn it inside out. Get your finger right in there. Give it a shake. You left with your middle section! Take a band. Give that a shake. Get all the shit off it. Wrap it round inside out. Don't forget to do it inside out. Don't know why I'm trying to like do a making band tutorial. Oh yeah, let me show you all how to make these so you can make them yourself. <laughs> what a knob. Anyway, lift that up. And then we just go. Cut it. Trim it. Because you don't want to be left with that. We like things to look nice in this house. She says, sitting in a conservatory of hell. Waiting for us to find you. Get me. Why am I singing a different song to what's on radio? Twist it inside out. Sorry, right way around. And 
you have the middle section. <laughs> then we take one of our new bows. We'll go for white, shall we? Make sure all the bits are cut off your bow, tidy it all up. Make sure it's perfect. Do, do, do. Make sure it's got no bits on it. Although I'll go through that as well when packaging, so that doesn't matter too much. We thread it through. How exciting. This is going to be somebody's headband. Turn it round, make sure it's all the right way. No bits are tucked in, and then you just pull with your fingers, tidy it all up. Make it nice and neat for the customer. But I don't know why I'm doing this, because honestly, it's just, I already run a business. I don't know why I've given myself <laughs> more things to do. And my OCD won't let me just leave them either. I've got to make sure it's perfectly straight. And then you have a Real Reviewer headband. I like to call them the band L, as in Ellie Norcliffe and headband, band L. So there we go, bitches. So now it's time to sort through them all, get all the bits off, cut all the little bits off, brush all the balls off and get them packaged. So this one's for the lovely Catherine Levine. Uh, we're just gonna package this now. So first of all, I add a little tag um, to the centre which says thank you for your order the real reviewer love from Ellie Norcliffe look at the state of my plaster already um, so we'll just wrap that round and seal it with a sticker so it's nice and packaged in there ready for the next stage and we get the centred beads I'm going to pop some centred beads inside there ooh and there she is packaged up so now we need um, one of my famous little tags and where is my ribbon? It should be in this bag. Why is it not in this bag? Here it is. So we've got the Real Reviewer ribbon with my little logo on there. And I'm a Realist ribbon. So we pop this on around the top. We pop my little handmade tags. Handmade with love, the Real Reviewer. And there we have it, all handmade, all hand packaged, right from scratch. I just wanted to show you what I go through <laughs> to get these bows out to you. So I'm just going to continue now with the, with the next 20. Bye!